Hi colleagues, welcome to the demo on subject tracking and invoicing module. Subject tracking and invoicing is about what's going on in my trial site in terms of enrollment, subjects visits, and all of the site payments and site budgets. With subject tracking and invoicing, you can manage site payments per procedure or per visit. We start with a number of widgets. These are the general widgets that we built with Flex Databases Report tool, which we provide for free for all our clients. You can see enrollment, planned versus actual, screen failure rate, inclusion curve, subject by status, and so on. You can switch between the sites everywhere. These are the basic widgets and you can add new ones from the start page, or you can just go ahead and use our report tool to create new widgets. The widgets you create are personalized, but you can also share them with your team. We always start with protocol design to describe it to the system. Basically, we will tell the system if the study has several study parts or study arms, what will be the visit groups, visit schedule, subject statuses, what would be the logic for statuses to change, any project-specific procedures, project-specific pass-through costs, and project events. What is project event? Project event is anything that the system may know of, like the site has been initiated, and then maybe an extra payment should be added to the invoice for the site. Then we go into budget management. We don't need to go ahead and create a budget from scratch every time. You can copy the budget from the previous one. You can manage your budget for sites on the level of the study and on the level of the site. You may have as many budget versions as you want. We always start with payment rules. With every release of the new system version, we add more and more payment rules here. At the moment, we have holdbacks for query. If there is too many open queries at the site, you may want to pay to the site less. Also, there is a possibility to add an overhead, to set the screen failure rate. For example, we are not going to pay for more than 10% screen failures. Also, there is complex subjects, extra subjects, extra payments, etc. Moving next to per subject costs. It does look pretty much like any schedule of activities in the protocol, and we will see all of the procedures here to the left, with its plan here to the right, and all of the totals. Totals per procedure, totals per subject, and totals per visit. How can we manage visits or visit costs or procedure costs? Just a reminder, you can manage payments per procedure or per visit. As you can manage payments based on procedure or based on visits, you choose how to manage it. Here you can set the unit price for a procedure, then indicate if the procedure is relevant to the particular visit. Each endeavor of them may be optional or to be paid, and you can leave a comment to it. For example, include medical history or needs to be checked. To add a new procedure to a budget, it's super easy. You just click on New and start typing in something like blood, and the system will show you all of the procedures that you usually use. You can remove certain procedures and add new procedures to the list. That easy. You can see all of the totals per subject right here. You can add past costs, you can plan your subjects, see all of the budget totals, any snapshots, the versions of your budgets, and then you go ahead and apply study budget. You can actually work with the study budget on the site level and go ahead and edit it in the site budget section. I personally prefer to make the changes on the level of the study and then choose to which site I want to apply the changes. Maybe I want to apply the changes to all of the sites, so I click here. If I want to apply changes for one site or if I want to apply changes on the level of the country, I just go ahead and group all of the sites by country like this and choose, for example, all sites in the US. You can also select what's going to be in the scope of changes. For example, I want to apply only the password costs or the payment rules as well. The system gives you a lot of flexibility in budgets management. The system is multi-currency and you can have different beneficiaries at the sites, and each of them may have different currency. For example, 
Somewhere in Croatia, you want to pay to the medical institution in euro, but to the blinded pharmacist or to the primary investigator, you want to pay in kunas, the local currency. This is also a possibility. The system is that flexible. At the site, there might be numerous numbers of version of the budget, and the system will create the invoice for the site based on the version of the budget that was effective on the date of the patient visit to the site. What else is interesting here? We have data import, a lot of information on trial sites, subject information, where you can play with reporting capabilities of the system. You can browse through all of the dates you can select to see all your subjects per status. Just drag and drop it over here and see the grouped information. You can go ahead and go into details. For example, pick one of the subjects and you will be able to see the schedule, costs associated with the subject, visit costs, per procedure costs, any unscheduled visits, and so on. The full schedule of all subjects' visits is also available here. As for the data import that I quickly mentioned before, we have a number of ways to connect with the EDC of your choice. We are already integrated with all of the major market players. We have semi-automated tool that you can just go ahead and start using the day the system is rolled out for you. Just upload an Excel spreadsheet that you have and you export from your EDC into our system. And the system will recognize it and use the data to manage the invoices update your data on enrollment, and all other things going on at the site. We also have an API and direct integration available. There is also a flow for activities approval for QC of all invoices by your finance team. You can set up the enrollment plan right here that you can plan per month or per week. In the end of it all, you have all the information on what's ready to be invoiced, all of the invoices, all of the items, etc. By the way, if you create an invoice by mistake that you realize later on, after it has been paid for, for example, you can come back to the system and void the paid invoice, and then the next invoice will be added with a negative value. What I love about the system is the invoices by site section, where you can see all of the information on what has been planned, what has been contracted, what is ready to be invoiced, what has been invoiced, and what has been paid already full transparency for each and every visit and visit type. If you're interested in the certain number, just click on it and the system will show the information. What was it for? What was the study part? Subject number, payment category, group, visit, all of the amounts, all of the items, etc. And here in the end, you see the detailed invoice with all of the information in case the site wants to know what you're actually paying them for. There is also a short invoice for your finance team and the custom invoice that you can set up the way you want to. Here is an example of the invoice with all of the information like the bank details, totals, subtotals. Also, just a reminder, the system is multi-currency, so you can manage all of the currencies that you need. That's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in and let us know if you want to dive into details. Request a demo via our website or send us an email to pd at flixdatabases.com. Have a great day!